Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Twistora D minor. But before we get into that, I do want to touch on what's going to happen in the short term. So the 1111 sale period is right around the corner. Those of you who have shopped Chi-Fi Audio for in the past few years, you know this is the biggest sale period of the year. And lots of brands have tried to get their sets on listed on AliExpress before that sale starts. So there'll be kind of a rush to... You know, for me to go through more sets at a quicker pace as opposed to spending five days on a set, we're going to go through a lot of sets in a short period of time, and that'll probably be a lot less detailed than what I normally do. But, you know, at this point in time, I could either, you know, do normal reviews on lots of sets, and that will take until the end of the year, or we'll kind of skip through and talk about what's important about each set and what you might want to look for and see if the price changes for on the 1111 sale period it maybe becomes more interesting to you and you know we'll kind of see how this works i'm not sure if it'll be useful not useful but we'll kind of play along at least in the short term so this is the d minor so the d minor you know for those of you who've been following to a store they released a d major and the d major looks like this it was a very cool looking shell right this chrome accented really shiny metal doesn't show up all that great on video, but it's a really nice polished shell. And what was kind of immediately noticeable to people was, oh, that's a cool-looking shape. It's something different. It, it caught a lot of people's eyes because of how different it looked. And this this is all metal down here, and it's metal down here. This is, I don't think, I'm, maybe it is metal, but it's not quite polished. This kind, this is more of a, a gunmetal, darker version, and it, it doesn't have... The, um, the full accent that this one does. So shell-wise, I think they are very, very similar, just not the same, but kind of the same idea. You still have the two pin up there. You still have the vents, the nozzle, the metal down here. So very similar. This one, I think this one is, what, $49, and I think this one is $29. So about a $20 difference, and we'll talk about what that most of that difference in price actually is. The accessories, again, this was a part of D major that was of interest to people. This is you know, what I would call your basic entry level kit. It has everything that's in, that you really need to kind of get started and moving. And we'll start with the USB C DAC. And there was a DAC included with Major as well. So, you know, those of you who have newer phones that don't have headphone jacks, you'll need one of these. So, very, very handy. You also get two sets of very nice tips. And again, that this is one of these things that entry level people will sort of get accustomed to. It's, it's always better to try multiple versions of tips on sets that you purchase because these will sound different and, and fit your ear differently. So having two full sets included is actually a pretty nice bonus. You do get the SPC cable, which is a little bit thin and stringy. And it's not my favorite because it tends to uh, not in on itself or not up and tangle and all that stuff. So I actually put some Velcro on this one. That is something that they should have included, which they did not. And you do get a pouch um, as well. So again, those of you who are really interested in the original, because it had a really nice shiny um, shell on it, this one is kind of similar, but not the same. So we'll kind of move these things out of the way. And I forgot the nozzle. So you do get three full sets of um, tuning nozzles. So it's it, they're basically three levels of brightness is, is what I would call it. And we'll talk about that in a second as well. So kind of right off the bat, I would say that D minor, the tuning on D minor is, is more generally appealing. It definitely has a warmer bass shelf. You can see that in the red. So quite a bit more bass here. And they also brought down the treble at the same time. So the overall net effect on that is a kind of a smoother, warmer, general appealing, a bassier sound. This this is kind of what I would expect on an entry level tuning. You know, no matter what genre you listen to, this has enough bass to cover it. It probably has more bass than than most genres or more most, most entry level sets. If you look at some of the entry level sets that people buy, like the Zero Two or the Chew Two or the cadenza, those have kind of a, a base level that's, you know, maybe a little bit closer to what major is. So to blow it out, you know, with a, a couple more decibels is, is a really fun, bassy sound. I have no problem with the bass shelf. I think they did that quite well on this dynamic driver. And then to bring the treble down to, to le levels that are not fatiguing, which will be general appealing to other regions outside of possibly their domestic. And that's sort of what, what I thought that D 
major was all about. Was I thought that that was a regional tuning. It, it was quite bright. So the, the red is the lowest level that, that came on major. And then there was two other nozzles that went above that. I mean, it was it was quite bright. It was very much either a regional tuning or a tuning for people who are into lower volume. So at least with red, we can see they added a lot more bass, which will balance out this amount of treble. And then red has the same thing. You have two more nozzles that will go above it if that's your thing. But the red, the lowest nozzle, is one that's going to be very general appealing and not cause you fatigue and give you a general sense of what IMs can sound like in this style tuning. So I have no problem with the tuning. I think it's actually a really nice set to listen to. Um, I don't really have any, I don't have that, nothing really stood out as far as compared to the original, which was very much a, a low volume listener. This one is very much popped in your ears and go and, you know, don't worry about it. You have a whole kit of things to play with in your spare time, you know, as, as you get to know D minor. So is D major, you know, simply D is D minor. This is going to be super confusing. So is the minor version the same thing as the major version, just without the chrome accents on the shell? And, and it, of course, it has a different tuning. And I would say no. The, the original D major, actually, one of the things that was a selling point on D major was the brilliant plated composite diaphragm, right? Had a nicer dynamic driver. They're charging you about $20 extra for that style dynamic driver. This is a more common LCP style driver. So... I would say if you believe their marketing, these two are, are two different drivers. They are certainly tuned differently. They're going to sound differently. So I would take their metro word for it and say this is probably a slightly lesser quality dynamic driver than this one. But as an entry level owner, you know, you don't have that that sense of what's a great driver versus what's a not as great driver. These are two very nice drivers, especially for the price. And I think the lower one in this general appealing style tuning is actually a quite a good deal for 30 bucks especially considering you get a dongle with it. I think that whole package at $30 is actually quite attractive. So what is different between the two on the tuning? This one is definitely warmer, less bright. It'll handle more volume. It'll be more forgiving on your music. Definitely a lot, definitely more forgiving tuning and minor, but still has the ability to nozzle up uh, on the, up the treble, and which is great for entry-level buyers. Like I said, both of these do these, these tuning nozzles. And they're very handy for getting a, a handle on what your preferences are, right? The, the red is going to be the lowest level. It's sort of right almost at, at the same level that yeah, lots of popular sets are, just slightly above the Harman target there and following the Harman target here. And, and the bass, as I said, this is more of a fun, thicker style, richer style bass. It's, it's quite uh, boosted over the Harman target, but you can certainly add... Uh, if you change nozzles, you will get a slight difference between even the bass actually changes a little bit. You can actually see what happens here. So the red nozzle will be the bassier one. The other two nozzles um, will actually drop down slightly, and maybe that'll be audible or not. But what is going to be audible is the treble levels will bump up just in the same way that they did on major. So starting with the red at the lowest, then you have the what the the black and the blue. So the blue is pretty up there. The blue is going to be right there up in the league of where major was. But, you know, as far as starting low as an entry-level person, start with a red one and then work your way up and see if that's more appealing, less appealing. Again, this was a pretty nice set to get a handle on what your preferences are as far as treble tuning. You know, you got three levels of treble, basically. You've got two sets of tips over here. You have a USB-C dongle to get a feel for what those sound like. Nice pouch, box, you know. Again, this is, I would just call it a very, very nice entry-level kit for someone who just wanted to buy everything all at once and just get to uh, enjoy music. So that is what I got on uh, Twistora D minor. So thank you guys again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.